What's going on, guys? I'm Jerry, and you're watching 3D HP. We got more stuff going on with the Ghostbuster car today. I'll show you what I got right after this. Well, I've been printing for weeks, and I've still got at least another week or so to go on the body. But let me show you where I got from the first video that I did. In the first video, you seen the front grill that I had done, and I was working on printing the half of the car. Well, here I got half of it done. And when I cut the grill off in that fab, I printed the grill upright, so I didn't want any uh, ringing or anything on the grill. I printed this at 0.12 millimeter layer height. I sliced, so that's 3D, 10% infill. My layers were 644 and simplified 3D. When I printed the car, I printed on my Hypercube, which is uh, Core XY from Ziltech. It's 400 by 400 by 500. I was printing at 60 millimeters a second. I printed it in this orientation. I had a ton of supports in there. I had like a, almost a roll of PLA in supports in here. It was crazy. And I'm using a G-Tech uh, PLA. They've donated six rolls so far on this build. So they've been sponsoring most of my build. And... Finally got this part done. I still need to do some post-processing. A lot of sanding needs to be done. A little body work here and there. But that's the way cars are, you know. Body work. Paint, primer, etc. Repeat. Paint, primer, repeat, sand, you know. Anyway, the other half is probably going to take another seven or eight days, which I have back here on the Hypercube. Uh, boy, and when I run out of filament, I'll just either uh, get hold of G-Tech again or I'll start using other colors that I have. But it's got at least another seven days. But I've got almost every single part printed for the car. I've been resin printing with uh, Ceratec, Ceratec. I've used a little Ziltec resin. And, uh, yeah, that's the only two resins I've been using. But I'll show you some close-ups. I've got the doors done. I've got the seats done. I've got goodies to go inside the car, the ladder. I printed all the lights in clear, uh, transparent resin. Uh, the engine cover. Now, here's a crazy story about this. Oh, all the red, white, and blue colors that I have here from G-Tech. But I was printing this on my Ender V32, and I had, a, I had it slightly tilted, and I ran out of filament. I had less than a quarter of an inch, inch to go, and I ran out of filament. And boy, that sucked. So I went into NetFab. I dropped the model in NetFab. I roughly cut it where it had to go. Took a coping saw, cut it off, glued it on. So when I go to put this in the car... This is going to be a cover. It's going to hide all the electronics and the batteries up here in the front. It's just barely too big, so i got to do a little bit of sanding so that'll drop down inside there to get that to pick correctly. And then I just got the floor mats done for it. These were printed on my uh, CR10, let's see, an a a a hatch box ABS black. And these came out very nice. Just got them done. Right now I've got a couple other parts printing on my... Uh, uh, my uh, CR10 in my enclosure, I'm printing ABS. So I'm getting that going. And then here's a dash, came out really super nice. Printed that in black ABS. And the Riff Rack in GTEC PLA. This was printed on, I believe, my, my Tebow Tarantula Pro. And it wouldn't quite fit straight up and down. So I kind of kicked it at an angle, and it worked out real good. I had a wrap of supports on the bottom, and then wherever one of these posts are, I had supports running down on the bed. But I got a bunch of pictures here I can show on, I'll show on the screen of all the different things here when I sliced them. Every time I sliced them, I took a snapshot. There's a program on Windows 10, which is really cool. You type in the word SNP, S-N-I-P, and it pulls it up. So anything on your screen, you can draw a circle around of it, around it, and you can save a snapshot, whether you're watching a video, anything you, that's on your screen, you can snip it and save a picture to repost it wherever. And that's just something I recently learned like six months ago. I didn't know that. Thank you. 
Let me uh, grab a close-up here, and I'll show you some other parts I got here. Oh, let's see. And I got all my bucks done. What's a buck? It's a, a buck is a form for a window. When you go to print a window, or you need to form the plastic around it to make the windshield or any of the windows on the car, I printed out these bucks in Hatchbox ABS. And, of course, you can see a little bit of ringing on it. I'll show you a close-up here in a minute. But I need to sand all that off. And then I needed to... Uh, a vacuum former. I'm forgetting my words here. See, I don't script stuff. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants and I forget things. I made a little vacuum former. Former. I checked them out on eBay, on YouTube, looked all over the place, and I found some little boxes or some different ideas. So this is the one I came up with. But then I was live streaming the other day, and somebody brought it to my attention, which once I checked it out, I did that this was too small for this vacuum former. I'm probably not have enough room to print that buck for the windshield. So then I went back out in the garage yesterday, and I made a bigger one. So this one's a lot bigger. And you just hook up a shop back to it. I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to go down to Lowe's or Home Depot, and I'm going to buy some aluminum or metal, what do you call that, your, uh, on your house, your, uh, the screens, uh, like for solar screens. Or the bug screens, whatever you call them. I can't think of the word I'm trying to use. You can buy that material and you buy the metal corners, the inside corners that go inside it. And then I can print these out in aluminum. And then when I get my PETG in the mail that I ordered off Amazon, if it ever gets here in the next few days, it's 12 inch by 12 inch. I'll slap it in between these sheets. I'll put clips all the way around. I'll take two bricks and set it in my oven since I didn't build any, any kind of a heat chamber. Then I can heat up the PETG, turn on the shop back, drop this over top, Take a glove, and I can help. I can form it in place, and wham, bam! I got all. The, I can get all the windows done for this. So that'll be kind of nice. So, I, like I say, I've just been printing like crazy. Let me show you some close-ups here, and I'll show you what else I got. Okay, here's that compartment for the engine, and you can see there. I was just like right there, and then I ran out of PLA, and that really sucked. But it happens. And I don't have a filament runout sensor on my Ender 3 V2 yet. I'm waiting on TH, TH3D Studios to come out with one, but I guess Creality had multiple boards they put in this printer, and he's trying to work the bugs out of the software, out of the firmware, so that I can get a film runout center, sensor on it and an easy ABL and put on it, or BL Touch. We'll have to wait and see what I do there. But that came out real good. And then here's a close-up on the car. And when this thing is done, it's probably going to be like three foot long at least. So it's going to be pretty massive. I have a lot of sanding to do on it and a lot of body work to do on it, but it came out nice. I've been having a lot of trouble with my Hypercube with different prints that I've been doing, and this one's came out the best, but i got a little work to do here and there on it. And then I'll show you the roof rack. And this is all, all the white is done on uh, G-Tech PLA. They have very durable and rugged PLA. It's not fragile. It's not brittle. I've had no clogging problems. It's been very tightly wrapped on the spool. It's been also covered with, most of them were covered with a saran wrap on top of that. And then four of the, pa the packs I got came with a Ziploc bag so you can store your filament in it after the fact. The last two rolls that I got from them didn't have that, so that must have been from an earlier batch off Amazon. But it appears that all their new stuff coming out, they're, they're putting Ziploc bags in. But that came out good. And then here we got some nice tires. These are all resin printed on my Elegu Mars. Still waiting to get save up some money so I can get a bigger resin printer. But these are all done hollow. Came out real good. And then here on the drain holes that I have in here, I'll take a little drop of resin, take a UV flashlight, and I can seal that up. And if it still has a divot, put a little more resin on it with a Q-tip or a uh, eyedropper, and then just put a UV flashlight on it for like three, four, five, six seconds, and it cures it, then you can just lightly sand it, and it's perfect. But, and they got a slight flat spot. You know, the weight of a car would be heavy, so it has a slight uh, flat spot on the bottom of the tires. There's also four of them on there that don't have that, that are perfectly round. 
And then I believe I already showed these, but I got the four other packs. These are all resin printed. Came out very nice. They're, they came out perfect. Then the floor mats and they, the black hatchbox ABS I was talking about. And I already had four rolls of ABS, so I might as well use it. I don't want to hit up G-Tech for everything I need when I have a lot of my supplies I can use. And this is printed in G-Tech white PLA. This is printed on my Ender 3 V2, I believe, and the orientation was like this sideways. So this all had supports in it. But it printed perfect. came out very nice. And then there's a lot of electronic goodies here. I'm going to have to drill different holes in these panels to put LEDs in them or fiber optics. I'm not sure yet which I'm going to go with. I've never worked with fiber optics, but I'll check with it. I'll look around at Amazon. I'll Google it, and I'll see what I can find out about prices and what it's going to cost to do it. And this was done in a clear resin. I Let's see. I washed it straight in alcohol. I did not use Mean Green and Multisonic Cleaner. I rinsed it in alcohol. I air dried it. And then I uh, cured it for uh, about three minutes on each side. And then I put a clear coat over it. And since this was too tall for the Elegoo Mars, I had to cut it in half and glued it back together. And then I've got two of these. And then I've got headlights, taillights. All over the place. These are headlights. These are all done Strytec resin. Two back seats. Need a little more post processing. I pulled the supports off here and there, but I got a little screen I got to clean up. A little sanding here and there, but they're almost perfect. And this back seat. Now this came out beautiful. When I printed this, the orientation was sideways and has 10% infill. My layers were 644. But that's really super heavy duty. When I print anything, I don't do anything frail or where you can just squish it and crunch it. I try to make everything substantial and heavy duty. So it kind of gives you an idea by the sound. And then here's some front doors down in blue. Once again, this is GTAC PLA, red, my red, white, and blues. And I was having trouble with my one of my CR my CR10. I had a bad stepper motor, but the hood managed to print. But I got to do a lot of sanding on it, and I've since rectified the problem. And there's a designer there over on Colts 3D. One-eyed monster, monster. Great file. It's only ten bucks, nine dollars and something for the file. Um, he has a PDF file included. Explains how to do everything. He has a sound file. He's got a sheet where you can actually print out your stickers for the Ghostbusters to put on the door, their logo. Um, awesome deal. That's like 10 bucks. And here's some more doors. Lots of doors. Doors, doors everywhere. Lots of work to do. Lots of sanding. A little putty work here and there. And primer and sand. And you know how it is. And here's a close-up on everything I just showed you. Let's go check out the hype... Uh, CR10 over here, printing ABS. And I'm printing a 225, and the bed is 80, and the enclosure is at 100C. Well, and here's some cool stickers that I've got from here, there, and everywhere 3D Medic Vents, Ethan Makes, printed solid, Spool 3D, 3D Print Llama, Ziltec. TH 3D, 3D Soltec. Customized 3D, Wham Bam, McWean, McEwen, whichever. Anyway, here's whenever I get stickered, I'm helping somebody. Here's where all the stickers go. And let's go over here and check out the Hypercube. 
Hypercube, Hypercube. It's getting there. And that roll of filament back there is almost dead. And here's the other one that I've got from G-Tech. G-Tech, excuse me. It's five here, plus that one makes six that they sent me. And then I already had a little bit of blue and red left over that I got from them a while back when I was testing it out. So, but yeah, it's getting there. It's looking great. Lots of parts. You know, next time you see this video, I'm probably going to have the back half done. Yeah, lots to do, guys. I still got a long way to go on this project. I'll, I don't know, maybe a month or so at least. But when the back half gets done on my next video, I will show you the back half. I'm going to have it glued together, and then I'll jump in and have it primered, and then we'll go from there. But yeah, it's going to be a very long project. Uh, you know, it's, it's not expensive to buy this, but if you want to print it big, or even at 100% scale, there's a ton of work in setting everything up, working on the lights. But it's a great, fun project, so... You know, anyway, please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy printing. Take care.